Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are filming here at the fantastic Gruno's Diamonds near the West Town Mall, and we just love being here, don't we? Yeah, it's just it's great to see all the, the our, our lights reflecting off the shiny things around here. I it's know, so it's wonderful. We always start shopping, and we're very decked out, yes. and um, it's just a great place to be. And I don't know if you're aware, since 1913, we've had Klein's Floral and Greenhouses serving the Madison area. And our resident expert, we've asked to come join us on Wisconsin Family. <laughs> Sue, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. So this is Sue Klein. She's our resident expert on our show, Girl Talk. And we're excited to have you on Wisconsin Family. And we've gotten to pick your brain quite a bit over the last several months. But tell folks who haven't seen you yet, give us a little Klein's history. There's a sure. lot. Well, my grandfather started the business back, like you said, in 1913. So for 102 years, we've been at the location on the corner of East Washington and Stoughton Road. Wow, same location. Things have changed mm -hmm. just a little bit through the yeah. years. Yes, definitely. Um, we're a family-run greenhouse garden center. We grow most of our own annuals, vegetables, and herbs right at our location there. They're not shipped in or anything Isn't like that. that. Cool? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it just right here grown right. here in the Madison right. area. Right, locally grown mm -hmm. and during the peak season like May and June I have about 45 employees. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's very cool. Now talk to us a little bit about the fact that you are a growing greenhouse and can you elaborate on what exactly types of things that you, you grow mm -hmm. in your greenhouse? Sure, well during the spring season like I said the vegetables, herbs, annuals, geraniums were pretty well known for those hanging baskets and all that we grow all that right there but then um, right pretty soon actually our poinsettias will come in so oh we grow our gosh. own poinsettias wow. we grow um, the hardy mums for the fall and kale and all the winter containers like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god poinsettias cool. already it's hard I to know. imagine <laughs> you guys have to be so far ahead of everything you do yeah. you do that's really it's something fun. yeah and those are so beautiful and colorful that's really fun and let's talk a little bit about summer gardening, summer containers. Since it is still summer, let's yes. hang on it to is. it, please. Yes, it um, is. So give us some pointers. Sure, and I brought a few containers with. And yeah. you know, the most important thing with containers, hanging baskets in your garden flowers is to make sure they're watered well during yes. the summer. And if you're gonna go on vacation, make sure someone is gonna come over and water your plants. You need and a plant sitter. You do, yeah. you really do. Yeah. And especially containers or hanging baskets, they're gonna dry out pretty quickly. Yes. So um, this, if it's a hanging basket, you can kind of tell by the weight if it needs some water, okay. you know, um, but also if you, you put your finger in, not just the top, but you know, dig it in a little bit. Okay. And if it feels dry, make sure you water it thoroughly so water comes out the bottom. Tell me about the weight. So if it's, it needs to be and you heavier. Kinda, yeah, you kind of get to know it, yeah. you know, and know how it feels when it is saturated. That's kind of fun. You kind of get to yeah. get to know your plant, your plant personality, you yeah. <laughs> what it's supposed to weigh. And uh, you know, obviously all living things need water, but all living things need food of some they kind. They do, so just like people. Talk they, to us about they some need of the food, food. That they need. And there's basically two different kinds, and I brought them with today, either water soluble, so this is a powder that you'd mix in with water, okay. and you'd, you'd water like every five to seven days with something like this. Oh, wow. um, this one here, I love because it's, um, it's they're granular and you just oh, sprinkle it in and it lasts easy. for like a couple months so that's, that's the, the easy mm -hmm. Easy way of so doing it. That's good for someone like me. I need the easy yeah. care. So you just sprinkle a little bit. So you this sprinkle, one you mix with water first. Correct. And, and this one you just sprinkle in on the soil. And then every time you water, okay. that's going to release some of the nutrients. A little more dissolved. Mm -hmm. Water mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is great for hanging plants. What about our actual summer gardens? Any mm -hmm. pointers for us there? Can you use those? You, Do you, need you to sure use that? can. Uh, the containers are going to need it more than the garden. Um, you know, especially obviously if it's raining, you're not going to need to water your garden. But if we have a dry spell, yeah, you're going to need to yeah. water your garden as well. Um, the other thing that's really important during the summer is what's called deadheading. So some flowers just naturally do that on their own, but okay. you know, any of the spent, the old blossoms, to cut them off, that helps the plant have energy to do yeah. other things. Dead than heading. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was called that. Okay, <laughs> so that's just cutting the old. The There's dead something stuff new off. every day. You're, right. They're not talking about the band. They're, right. You're not a deadhead. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. not <laughs> but that's an easy way to remember. It. <laughs> <laughs> or pruning, or pruning back. You know, some plants like say petunias or calabrachoa, they they get kind of leggy, and if you cut them back, they'll make them bushier. Huh, okay. So. so there's a little bit of maintenance, but a little maintenance goes a long yes, way in maintaining definitely. your garden, your containers, mm -hmm. and all that stuff during drier 
days and weeks. Right. Now talk to us a little bit about this most beautiful garden contest that I've heard a little bit yes, about. Yes, we, I, you know, I'm not sure exactly how many years we've been doing this, but it's a big hit where we'll have, um, and all the information is on our website, the form and everything, but um, people can snap photos, up to three photos of their garden and enter in our most beautiful garden contest for the chance to win Klein's gift cards so you can buy more oh, plants. that's wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Oh Very my cool. gosh. I, I can imagine all the people at home going, I have the most beautiful garden. Yeah. I, I think I, I think I would win for most functional garden. I'm not sure it would be the oh. most beautiful. It doesn't okay. have a lot of flowers, but it's got a lot of uh, lot of um, greenery in it. So. Oh, well, that's totally good. Yeah. That would qualify. That would. Okay. Right. Enter your oh, garden. All right. You've convinced beautiful. me. I think you, you convinced should. Me. Yeah. I will. I will. Well, uh, Sue Klein, I want to thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. Thank you so time. much. We appreciate you coming and giving us some pointers, much needed. And if you have stables, riding, horsemanship on the mind, stick around. We're going to be back with Liberty Stables. It's all right here on Wisconsin Family here at Gruno's Diamonds. Stay tuned.